COVID-19 has put sports seasons around the world on hold, but the National Football League is still scheduled to hold its draft later this month. And a Bahamian is among those hoping to hear his name called as he looks to fulfill a lifelong dream, as Amajal Nolds tells us tonight. April in the sports world for football fans typically means that their team will try to better its roster through the NFL draft. However, this year, due to the global COVID-19 pandemic, the league's draft will have a different feel, that being a virtual one. And a Bahamian is among the scores of prospects expecting to have their name called during the three-day event. Offensive lineman Chris Ferguson, who capped off a stellar career with the University of Cincinnati Bearcats this past December, spoke to our news team about the novel coronavirus and how it has affected his training leading up to the big day. The whole COVID-19 pandemic, it really, you know, put the whole sports world at a halt, at a, at a standstill, because sports is a hot spot for people to, you know, get together and be interacting with each other. So that's an easy way for this virus to spread. And with my training, I was really doing one-on-one -on -one training with my coach. So we weren't really affected until, you know, about a week and a half ago when the stay-at-home order came in for Florida. So, you know, I'm just home base now. We got a pretty good gym at my house. And, you know, my coach gave me some stuff to work out with, too. And he sends me work out every day. And as far as the draft, um, that, I mean, doing the draft virtually, it doesn't really change anything. Because where you get picked is where you get picked, you know. And even if I had got invited to Vegas, I probably would have spent it, you know, back in the Bahamas with some of my family and friends, honestly, man. The 6'5", 310-pound lineman who's currently working out in Orlando says he's training with a longtime coach and fine-tuning his skills. Um, yeah, I'm out in Orlando. I'm training with Atlas Pro Fitness. And, you know, that's, that's, one, that's somebody I know personally, you know, my high school coach. He's now, you know, a trainer, and he trains kids for the draft and stuff. And, you know, I wouldn't have went to anybody else because, you know, he know me, he know my body, he know my tendencies, he know things I need to work on, things I could do better, things I'm good at, you know. And it's easy because, you know, I got family in Orlando too, so I'm just home and I'm comfortable. Ferguson adding that he and his agent have heard some promising talks from NFL organizations, something he says is a positive as he tries to put the Bahamas back on the map in the NFL. Right now, yeah, we're getting a lot of good feedback, you know. My agent, he's out there working hard, you know, also me. I all look good film I put out. So, you know, teams are interested. And it's, it's a good number of teams. I, I'm not going to say, you know, I can't release that information as to what team is showing interest. But it's, it's a good number. We're looking at, you know, about fifth, sixth round, you know, later rounds. But and while we just praying and are you just working? No, I'm just working hard to put the Bahamas back on the map in the NFL. You no, know, coming to America, you know, like I always, one thing I always did, I always made sure everybody knew I was a Bahamian and everybody knew I was from the Bahamas. Even on my campus in Cincinnati, everybody on campus knew who I was and where I was from and what I stand for and what I represented. In my locker, my flag was hanging in my locker. At my apartment, my flag was flying from my balcony. While I was on the field, my flag was on the back of my helmet. I hold the Bahamas near and dear to my heart, and you know, I just always wanted to represent with the utmost best I had, you know. Ferguson helped the Bearcats achieve back to back seasons with an 11 and 3 win loss record. They also won two straight bowl games. The team finished the season at number 23 in the AP Top 25 poll. For ZNS Network News, I'm Amajal Knowles.